how does my family stay in shape after all the baking and cooking that I do? Well, I'm gonna show you. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell, and we have eight children. And we are just the Bells 10. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, you cook so much, you bake so much, how in the world does your family stay so fit? Well, I'm not fit, I'm working on it though, but my kids are very, very active. Like they just are constantly on the go, whether it's ice skating or sledding or playing basketball or going here, going there. Our family is really, really active, especially having the farm. We're just very active family. But I'm gonna give you a tour of our basement uh, we turned our basement into a gym years ago. I painted once the kids got older and they weren't really playing with the toys because it used to be a toy room. We changed it into a weight room. So I'm going to give you a little tour of our basement. Keep in mind, it is a little dirty because we have been remodeling our garage into our new game room. And so once the game room's done, we're going to be moving some things down here, like our foosball table, things that we have down here we're going to move them up to the game room so we have more room for our exercise equipment so I'm going to take you for a tour so you can check out our basement and I'm going to show you how our family stays so fit here is our basement I'm going to give you that was actually my office there I do all of our work for our BSB and farm um, in there and so anyway I just want to give you a tour of our basement to show you how my family stays so fit after all the cooking and the baking I do which is my language of love I can't stop we're just going to have to come back down here and work out even more because I'm not going to stop cooking or baking. <laughs> My kids and I do Olympic weightlifting. We actually got our gym certified for the USA weightlifting and I'm actually a coach. I'm a certified United USA Olympic weightlifting coach. I did all the classes and so I can actually train people. So anyway, um, I got my Nordic track a couple years ago for my husband for Christmas. And then because we do the Olympic weightlifting, here I'll show you in here, I, I try to be so organized. So all of our weightlifting shoes are in here and then CDs if we want to come down and watch some TV. So yeah, here's, here's actually mine right here. These are my lifters right there. So we put all our weightlifting shoes in here and then we got mats and just, you know, we also did CrossFit. So we got wall balls and kettleballs just for things to do so we can do a little CrossFit too. That's actually uh, Robert right there. That's his programming. And I bought jerk blocks so we can do different exercises on that or different weightlifting. Um, those are blocks there. I usually put them here. So I do my, my snatches and my clean and jerks right here. I picked up this concept rower. I love to row. Love, love, love. I'm actually going to keep going on it. And I'm going to try out for our rowing team in Marquette. And then we got a stationary bike for my husband. For Christmas, my husband got me this um, this holder for our weights and then the barbell holder. And we actually got Olympic weightlifting bars too. This is mine right here, right there. And me and Brendan and his friend Blake, we actually built these lifting platforms ourselves. We went and got all the material we needed. These are actually um, horse mats to put in barns. So those are the mats that we work out in. And then over here is more of like our power lifting part of the, of the basement. Um, that's some GLD sit up place, but right now we can't use it. So what's really cool about this is my husband and his dad, they actually built these. They built the squat rack. They built the bench press, the behind the neck press. They built this pull up and whatever, I guess just pull up um, contraption. We actually bought that. They didn't make that, but all these benches and uh, the powerlifting stuff, my husband and his dad made it. And so when they changed their weight room into a hangout room, they gave us all the weights. So we got all these weights. And so I've been just getting some different things to add to it, like our, our um, push-up, pull-up things, um, our slam balls. My husband also made this, their, their own GHD sit-up. Pretty cool, hey? And then here's all our weights. I actually got that for my husband for Christmas one year. Hello, hello. So this is how we all stay fit. And in the walls, so what I had did is I really, really like, I hate throwing things away. Like I honestly do. 
And so I wasn't really sure what to do down here. I wanted it to be really cool. And so I grabbed all, cause I'm a painter. Like I love to paint, love, love, love. This is kind of a mess. Here's our mess right now because we're remodeling that and everything from up there is now down here. Oh, I got cross country skis too. So what I had did with all these colors is I had grabbed all my paints that had just maybe like a quarter of a color or a half a color. I got them all out and I just started using tape and just started taping lines, taping lines. This took me weeks because each color has to dry before you retape it. And then look at this guy. He, he is that great. He has lost so much weight since he graduated. So this is how we, uh, we stay fit is in our basement uh, gym. And I'm going to show you something else too. Let's go in here. Hopefully it's clean. Here we go. And my husband got me this. It is a, an actual like certified whatever scale. It tells everything. And we also coming into the bathroom here. We also put our own owl. We our own uh, sauna. So this is a sauna. So after we work out, we come into the sauna. It's so nice. It smells so amazing too. So wonderful. So I'll give you one more little trip through here. And then right in there, that's where my food pantry is. So yeah, we have a lot of things here. My next goal is I really want to get a Peloton bike but I don't know how expensive they are. We have an elliptical here. We just can't get it out right now because our foosball table's here. So I'm pretty excited though to get this out and then we can put all of our weight equipment in there instead of it kind of sitting around because some of the weights are a little heavier to put on there and there's not an, enough room. So that'll be nice. My husband uses that ball quite a bit because he had back surgery. And so the doctor gave him lots of different workouts to do to help heal his back. Yeah. So this is it. This is how my family stays fit and active, even in the winter. You know, we use it more in the winter, I guess, than we do the summer. Um, but I still have some more plans of, of things I would like to do in the weight room, things I'd like to add. Um, and over there, that hangs our way, way in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Way in the back there. That holds our jump ropes and our bands. And then that clock up here, I got that actually two years ago for Christmas so we can time ourselves when we're doing different cycles. So yeah, I use this uh, squat rack quite a bit and my CrossFit symmetry, I actually, I'm gonna show you guys this. So I picked this up. It is actually for shoulder health. Like if you have a shoulder injury and you are trying to heal that, it's really cool. It has workouts, two different things of workouts. And it actually comes with these bands, they're resistant bands. I use this quite a bit because of doing CrossFit and Olympic weightlifting. My shoulders kind of struggled and that's definitely worth the investment. So I'll give you one more swoop right through here. Sorry if it's a little messy, but we are in the process of redoing that. And so everything is dusty and dirty. I'm going to be cleaning, cleaning, crazy cleaning after this is all done. So I'd have to say probably my most favorite thing is our platforms we built, my, my holder for my weights. And it's so weird because everything is in kilograms with Olympic weightlifting. So it's hard for me to know how many pounds it is. I know that 2.2 .2 is one pound, but it's hard to, Oh, it's hard to uh, go back to pounds. I'm just so used to kilos. And so when we do our weightlifting, we know right away what to put on there. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. So here it is. Here it is. And I got that little TV. So if we want to watch TV. So this is how we stay fit in the winter and throughout the whole year. We just come down here in our weight room. And it's so great too, because when it starts to get cold, like everybody comes down here. So it's like me, my husband, all my boys, we got music going. And we're all like on different parts of, you know, the weight room. And so it's really cool. But um, I just recently got back in here. I've taken a break for about a year just because I was so burnt out from weightlifting. I've been weightlifting nonstop. Gosh, since I was 42. So for eight years and I just was tired. And so this is my first week back in the weight room. My legs are on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. I'm walking on fire. Yeah, I can't hit that high, but anyway. 
So yeah, I'm excited to be back in here. I feel good. And of course I have to do that sauna after, but um, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. Our weight room is all right. This is how we do it. Thank you for coming down here to take a tour of my basement. Don't forget to subscribe and like to Just the Bells 10 for more family everything. All right, well, thank you. Be looking on, on be looking, be looking, be looking out for me as I start to get fit again. I'm very excited about it. I just got to get my butt down here. <sighs> just make sure I'm doing it. All right, thank you very much.